hi, I didn't see you there. I've always wanted to do that. <laughs> okay, I know I've been away. I know I haven't been uploading regularly, but a lot's been happening. So let's have a little bit of a catch up and then I'm going to show you my new bathroom. So yes, my bathroom is finally done and it did take longer than three weeks. We had some delays and with the tiles and with the humidity and things not drying properly. The last bit I was waiting for, for quite a while was actually the mirror. And I was told my bathroom wasn't the only one <laughs> without a mirror, just waiting for it to arrive. But it's finally here, it's been installed and uh, all the other bits and pieces have been done as well. So it's a big tick on the bathroom renovation front. But what I did not realize and did not appreciate, just what a burden it is on your mental health to be living in a house that is being renovated. And it wasn't the entire house, it was just the bathroom, but I still really felt the impact of it and I had to really look after my mental health. It was basically like I never had any privacy because the tradies were coming every day. And in the beginning, it was only meant to be business days, but already in the second week, they had to come on Saturday. And then the third week, they were here seven days. Yes, including Sunday. Um, but I never knew what time they would be arriving. Plus there were like 10 different teams involved in this bathroom reno. So it wasn't even like I could make friends with these guys and kind of have them sort of chat with me, etc. because it was just completely new guys turning up every day to do different bits and pieces. So in that way, it felt like an intrusion. Like every day, my life was being disrupted by strangers coming to my house and I never knew what time they would arrive. So I kind of needed to be ready for their arrival from 7 a.m. every day. So no sleeping in <laughs> for me for the last month because I needed to be up and about and ready for my day from 7 a.m. knowing that anybody could just knock on my door and come in. And you know, I definitely don't want to complain. So this is not about complaining about these tradies or about the whole process. Like I'm so grateful that I got to renovate my bathroom and that I have a new one right now. And I'm so grateful for the tradies. To be honest with you, it feels like tradies are doing God's work. <laughs> Um, because all of these things they were coming here and doing um, and not only the tradies looking after my bathroom and renovating my bathroom but also different other tradies and my handyman you know people that come in and they just can do the kind of jobs on the house that I could never do so it's been also a bit of a challenge to just get tradies and handymen in in the first place it seems like there's a shortage around in Australia anyways. It feels like everybody's renovating right now post COVID. That's why the mirror took extra long to arrive. So there's shortage of materials and there's also shortage of labor. So in that way, I am extremely grateful that I was able to do this renovation when I wanted it done and that everything in the end turned up and that it is now finished <laughs> and over and I have a bathroom and it's beautiful and I'm very proud of it and I am using it daily but seriously <laughs> handymen and tradies are doing amazing work but while that was happening while I was dealing with the bathroom renovation I was actually really really busy filming editing and eventually releasing my new online course how to pleasure her which I am so incredibly proud of but this is also the reason why I haven't been turning up on my vlog channel because for the last few weeks I've been basically working non-stop from morning till night because I gave myself the deadline to release it being 4th of June and that turned out to be a very strict deadline <laughs> and very challenging deadline and so while I was able to release most of the course at that point I still had bits and pieces to finish which I have been doing until last night friday night oh so it's been full on and challenging and big but i am so proud of this course i am so proud of what i created so it was absolutely worth it and a huge investment in my business but also 
such a powerful offering to any man who want to learn how to pleasure a woman well. So I just knew that this is something that is needed and requested. It's been requested from so many, you know, so many people that follow me or are my clients. So here it is. I have finally released the How to Pleasure Her online course. So how about we go and check out the new bathroom? Would you like to see it? This is probably also a good time to show you the old bathroom so that you can finally compare. I have been hiding the old bathroom. I didn't want to show it, show it to you because I haven't been proud of it. But now that it's finally down, I can show you the before and the after, which you'll see in a moment. You might also notice that I'm dressed differently than I usually dress, and that's because it is freezing. <laughs> it is officially winter in Australia, which means that we have about five, it was five degrees uh, this morning. So five degrees Celsius this morning. Uh, right now it's like 18, so it's not too bad and it's still nice and sunny, so that's wonderful. Um, but it's been cold. And you know, the thing about winter in Australia, especially up here in the tropical Queensland, is that people in Australia build houses like it's tropical summer all year round. And it's really not. So the insulation is pretty poor. There's no heating. Like I have absolutely no heating in my house. And so it kind of feels the same temperature outside as it is inside or the same temperature inside as it is outside, <laughs> which is not awesome when it's five degrees outside. You know, the Aussies wonder how we survive in Europe, the European winter, but you know, like the, properties, the, the buildings are really well insulated in Europe and there's central heating everywhere. So it's a very different story as opposed to here. <laughs> I wonder how they're surviving their winter because even though it's not severe, like, you know, there's no minus degrees here or, you know, rarely ever. But when it's five degrees outside, you really feel the cold um, in, the, in the house. So, uh, I just put layers on. I use my hot water bottle right now. I have a fan heater, an electric fan heater that I use. And I just drink hot tea. Like, <laughs> hot tea is a lifesaver when you are cold. All right. Is it time to show you the big reveal? So, ta-da! First, have a look at the old bathroom and see what I was dealing with before. And now you can see what I've turned it into. So this is the new bathroom. We need to still remove the tape <laughs> and the pieces of planks of wool that are supporting the mirror because the mirror has been installed only recently and so it was still kind of setting. But so this is my vanity and obviously the sink and the, and the mirror, the shower. I decided to go for a walking sort of wet room, which I think is a very stylish kind of a, kind of a choice. And this is in my lovely toilet and some towel racks. And here I've got this empty corner right now, which I am intending to put here something, some kind of a bathroom shelves or something, some kind of storage thing that it looks you know, to make it look nicer. Okay, let's remove the tape. The tape has been removed. The supporting planks of wood are gone. I don't even wanna think about how heavy that mirror is and how strong a glue they had to use to hold such a big mirror on the, on the wall just with glue. Please let me know what you think about it. I am no interior designer. I have literally no skill or experience in renovating 
or picking designs, etc. And everything here was kind of picked by me on the basis of an idea that I was trying to create. So I definitely knew I wanted a sort of a white, bright bathroom with black sort of matte finishes. So the, the taps and uh, you know towel holders and little bits and pieces i wanted them black but everything else white or off-white just to really create a space that feels full of light the old bathroom had those kind of dark brown tiles which i think they were a terrible idea because the whole space just seemed really dark because of that so what do you think <laughs> I look forward to hearing your, your thoughts on, on this new bathroom and unfortunately they, there will be no vlog next week because I am actually going to escape the heavy Australian winter <laughs> and I'm flying to Cairns on Monday the 13th of June and I'm going to stay there until the 23rd so flying back on the 23rd so obviously there will be no vlog in the meantime because I will have no equipment, no internet not taking my laptop, not taking anything else other than my phone and I'll be just camping and hiking from Cairns to Cape York which is the very northern tip top point of Australia. So that's gonna be fun and amazing in much warmer than Brisbane because I think it's about 26 degrees there. No, <laughs> that's the fun decided to work right now. <laughs> so 26 degrees as opposed to 18 degrees, well top of 18 degrees. Like I said, it's like more like five degrees in the mornings here down in Brisbane. So I'm expecting a lovely change and a warmer climate and an amazing adventure into the northern parts of Queensland and Australia. So wish me luck with that trip. There are some crocodiles up there. <laughs> so I'm hoping to not encounter any of them, plus other scary creatures, but that's just the thing about Australia. And despite all the weird creatures and dangerous animals, snakes, spiders, and other, other things that might kill you, it is actually still an absolutely wonderful place to live. And I'm actually really, really grateful that I got to spend the last 13 and a half years of my life here in this country. <sighs> Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to your comments and to chatting with you in the comment section below. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time after I come back from Paris. Bye!